Hey everyone, uh, we're going to be talking about that 3D All-Star collection. Um, yeah, it's it's a thing. But before I can even talk about it, i got to mention, we're actually giving away three, that's right, three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, all you have to do to enter is go to the Gleam.io link down in the description. Uh, and yeah, enjoy that. Also, if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for just $1, you get an additional 15 entries. That also gets you an additional 15 entries into our other giveaway for the month of September, and that is for a Nintendo Switch Lite and or, if you get second place, we have two second place prizes, a Nintendo Switch game of choice. So to enter that one, also, check out the description. It has a different entry method uh, than the Gleam.io link. So, things like subscribe to the channel, follow on Twitter, join the Discord server, all that jazz. Comment, like the video. You guys know the drill, but check the description to make sure you get every single box to maximize your entries. Good luck. Now, this is a thing that was announced today. We've talked about it. We've had two videos uh, focusing on it. But this time around, I need to mention that something is a little off about this entire endeavor and that is that with they didn't really announce it clearly in the direct they did technically announce it if you go back and watch the mario 3d all-star collection is well it's a limited release uh, what that means is it's only going to be available from September 18th through March 31st. And we're not just talking about a limited physical release, which that happens with games that Nintendo thinks isn't going to sell or other companies think isn't going to sell well physically. We're talking a limited physical and digital, meaning as of, as far as we're aware, after March 31st of 2021, you will not be able to buy this game brand new anywhere, well, unless for extra copies that are still on store shelves that haven't sold. So... This is a very interesting announcement because when they announced this whole thing, they did it inferring that it was just about the, the, the Super Mario 35, which is that Tetris Attack style Mario game. So it was kind of inferred here that this was not going to happen to this game. This would just be a standard game release like it seems that, you know, 3D World with the Bowser stuff, Bowser's Fury, uh, it felt like it was supposed to be like that. It's just another game coming to Switch, another collection coming to Switch. But that's not the case. It's limited. Now, this has obviously sent some confusion because it didn't really make that clear in the Direct. But if you check out the website and you check out Nintendo's email they sent out to consumers and press about it, it specifically mentions that this game, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game, is a limited run game. Uh, and that's worrying. Because it shouldn't be a limited run game. Now, I have a couple of theories, a couple of pros and a couple of cons uh, for Nintendo and for consumers. And one of those pros, one of these things that makes me not as concerned about this as maybe some others are, I've seen some concerns in the comments about it, is that Nintendo has done these limited things before and then just totally had them last a lot longer. Um, Hello Classic Systems, SNES. NES Classic, we're only supposed to be around for like a couple months. We had the NES Classic around for years. Why? Because of demand. So it's one of those things that if these games between September 18th and March 31st sell 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 plus million copies, Nintendo doesn't really have an incentive to not keep making more of them because the demand could still be incredibly high. So if it keeps being sold out all the way through March 31st, even if it's just because they're only doing limited you know, amounts of them at a time, that's going to make Nintendo realize we need to keep making more. So even though that is the current plan from Nintendo, plans change. That's what I'm kind of throwing out there. So don't panic too much about it yet. We've also seen, however, where Nintendo has done these limited runs, like with Xenoblade Chronicles back on the Wii, where they only used GameStop and only had a, like one limited run, that they didn't end up reprinting, and that was it. And there is a reason that Nintendo might do this, and that is because they could re release the, each of these games individually, digitally, and make more money. So you could release this you know, HD version of Super Mario 64 for 40 bucks. You could do the same thing for Galaxy, the same thing for Sunshine. So they could end up making more profits overall by releasing the games individually instead of on the collection bag. Again, it was strange to see them gather these games together. But what makes it not as strange is 
also something that has frustrated some people. And I think a lot of this is because we've been building up hype for this collection pack since March when the rumors first landed. And then Nintendo's lack of announcements all year long has just led the hype being higher and higher and higher because this is the big game from Nintendo. And it's that they didn't do much um, at all. Like Sunshine probably has the biggest change to it because not only is it in HD, full 1080p docked, by the way. We now have the full resolutions. Galaxy and uh, uh, Galaxy and Sunshine are going to run at 1080p docked, 720p handheld, uh, whereas uh, the, you know, the, what should I call it, the uh, Super Mario 64, I, can't, I don't know why I was drawing a blank, is only going to run at 720p uh, docked or handheld. Doesn't really make much sense, and it does you consider the fact that they didn't add a 16 by 9 aspect ratio to it. That's the thing. Sunshine's going to have the biggest change because it goes from this to this, uh, and then it also becomes 1080p. So that's going to be a, a, a nice little upgrade. But even then, they didn't redo textures. They didn't do any uh, special new age effects to it. You know, like if you look at other remakes Nintendo's done, like the Wind Waker HD, they added more bloom. And they, and they, they didn't change the fundamental art style, but they added things to it. Uh, there's no new content. There's no new features. It's just, hey, it's in HD enjoy and for galaxy i feel like you know that's a more acceptable game to maybe do that with just like you know if nintendo did that with skyward sword hd next year uh, i think that's a more acceptable way uh, a game to try to do that with but when you see mario 64 just up not even put into widescreen which has been done with emulators uh that to me is a little lazy um, now I, I'm still picking this up. I'm still excited for it. And it's the best looking official copies of these games that exist. And I know that over the years, we've seen a lot of unreal engine Four remasters and we've seen a lot of, uh, just a lot of, of, of different things in general, if we're completely honest when it comes to, uh, these games and Nintendo is taking down fan games and all that. But I have to admit, it's a little bit underwhelming that we had almost a year build up. Remember, not Nintendo's fault that we had this long buildup. Kind of. I guess if they had other announcements along the way, but COVID, I'm trying to be understanding here, it's not technically their fault. This year was supposed to be different for them. Uh, this was supposed to be an E3 thing. Anyways, the point is that the games aren't that impressive on their own. Um, but it's still a nice collection pack. I still think it's worth 60 bucks, personally, just to have them up uh, So... I am going to pick it up, and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it, and it's going to be a nice uh, part of my collection. And it being a limited run, I guess, makes it a more collectible game. But, again, if it's selling like Game Busters and the demand is really high, Nintendo's not going to stop making them. I think this is more of a, hey, if it's not popular, we have a cutoff date, and it becomes a collector's item. I think that's kind of the way Nintendo's positioning it. Uh, whereas they have a feeling that 3D World is going to sell 4 or $5 million. I don't think Nintendo actually has high expectations for the sales of this game, which I do think is another case of Nintendo underselling how well this game is going to sell. I think this collection pack could outsell Super Mario 3D World, even with the new Bowser content. I think it could outsell it, even though that's a better port um, or a better whatever, just because it adds brand new content. So, yep. That's kind of my take on that. But remember, for now, officially, it is a limited run from September 18th to March 31st. So if this is one of those games, oh, I'm going to wait for it to be discounted. I'm going to wait. There's no reason to wait. You're going to wait, and you won't be able to get a new copy anymore. So if you want a new sealed copy, especially, or even if you want it digitally, you got to buy it before the 31st of next year. Doesn't mean you got to get it now. You don't have to get it day one. You can wait. It'll be available for digital sales. There won't be like, you know, oh my gosh, they ran out of digital copies. Nope, they'll keep doing it until March 31st. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to enter those giveaways. Uh, I just wanted to clarify this because there has been confusion over it. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.